welcome back. So for today's video, I wanted to do, where's my phone? I posted this look to Instagram about a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. And you guys really seemed to like it, and I thought, since this look has so much berry going on, that it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna be recreating this look today, and I hope you guys like the video. So let's rock and roll. So I already corrected my face. I did my primer and foundation. I used the Benefit Professional Primer to prime the skin. I really like this because I'm pretty sure it's silicone based because it feels silicone-y. I gotta do my research, but I'm pretty sure it is. My pores have just been extra large and in charge lately. And I also had a reaction to the wax that I use to wax my brows. So I've got all these like little bumps around here. My forehead's breaking out. We just got a hot mess going on. So I busted out the Benefit Professional today. And then I used the Maybelline Age Rewind in the color brightener to correct. This is like a peachy toned concealer. I use that to correct my hyperpigmentation. And then I used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105, which is like my perfect shade. So I used that as my foundation. So now moving on to, should we do the brows? Should we do the concealer? I think we'll do my brows later. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in the shade Neutral Medium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that right under my eye area. I like this because it's full coverage and it also has collagen and some other good stuff in it. And it's very brightening too, so that helps. So I'm not gonna be using that much. I don't wanna get too crazy. <sighs> dampen this, let's go dampen the blender. Okay, right, so now that we have our beauty blend, now that we have our beauty blender nice and damp, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending all that out. Alright, so now to highlight and contour the face, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Stick. This one's in the shade Medium. I've been really into cream contouring lately, and I specifically like these because it looks very natural on the skin. Like, it looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey or anything, so that's what attracts me to this product. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the highlighter side here, this lighter side going on right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that into my highlight areas. And then I'm going to take the more contouring side and I'm going to use that to contour the face so we look a little bit more chiseled and defined. Oh, it would help if I would push the product up a little bit more. <laughs> to dampen this one. We're just gonna use it dry. So I'm gonna take this blending sponge that comes with the Cameo Contour Stick. It has a flat side on one side. I like to use this side to blend out the highlight areas and then I like to use this side right here to blend out the contour areas. I feel like it just works best for me. No in particular reason, I just like it. So we're gonna roll with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the highlight areas out first. And if you guys are new to my channel, the reason why I put highlighter right here on my laugh lines is because when you highlight those areas it's going to make it appear as if it's pulled forward a little bit so if you have like receded laugh lines like I do I mean it's not super crazy or anything but as I get older stuff starts to recede so I like to put it there because I feel like it it's kind of like temporary collagen you know what I mean but just with makeup minus the needle obviously so this technique is really good if you have any area on your face that's receding and you want to pull it forward a little bit that's gonna help you, so. Little tip. If you have a smaller forehead, then you don't need to contour your forehead, but your girl got a five head, so we need extra contour up there. Okay, so now that we've got everything blended out, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to go ahead and shake make this face, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend everything out with a fluffy brush. Now it's time to shake and bake, shake and bake. It's like getting old, it's like getting cheesy, it probably is, huh? It's so much fun, stop judging me. Yeah. 
Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake and bake that under contour area on the sides of my cheeks, just so we don't get any lines of demarcation. I like to do that after I've set everything lightly. Well, the heavy part's heavy and the light part's lightly. <laughs> that made no sense, right? Okay, so now time to bronze. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is in the color Sun Bronze. So it looks like that. That's what the back looks like. If you guys have any recommendation on bronzing brushes, let a girl know. Tweet me, comment section me, Snapchat me. Let me know what your favorite bronzing brush is. Okay, so next for blush, I'm going in with the MAC Blush in Gentle. So this is MAC Blush in Gentle. It's a mineralized blush. Looks like this. My voice is going out. It looks like that. And I really love the color. I think it's really pretty. It's got a slight shimmer to it, but it's not super intense or crazy. So that's why I like it. It's kind of like that glow from within, but without getting too crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the eye area. I'm gonna start off with the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. Looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel in Caramel. Just so we can get them a little bit lighter so they match my hair a little bit more. I mean, they're not exactly gonna match, but they'll be a little bit lighter so that they go a little bit better, if you know what I mean. I finally cleaned up my brows. I know my last video, my brows were looking real real lioness-like and real ferocious, so cleaned them up. Alright, so now to clean up the brows, I'm going in with some concealer and a concealer brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up the bottom of my brows. Okay, so now we can move on to the eyes. Okay, so first to prime the eyes, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Cease Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Looks like this. I do have a coupon code for Pure Cosmetics. Um, I will leave it down below in the description bar, but it's just Crystal Beauty 5, and that'll give you 10% off your purchase. Okay, so moving on to shadow, I'm going in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette, and I'm just going to pick up the color Sweetheart, which looks like that it's a really pretty like peachy toned matte color and I'm just going to run that back and forth through the crease this is going to be our transition color for this look totally just forgot to set the base for my eyes totally forgot to do that. Oh well we're just gonna have to roll with it I want to use the Sigma E40 tapered blending brush to do that so next I'm going to take Rebel from that same palette, but this time I'm going to use a Morphe M514 brush. And I'm just going to apply that, the outer V, the inner corner, and then through the crease. And next I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Shadow in Bitten. It's this really pretty, just red-ish color. It's kind of like a burgundy-ish color. So I'm going to be using a Sigma E30 pencil brush to apply that. So next I'm going to highlight my brow bones with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow in Soft Gold. Looks like that. Just a really pretty vanilla, shimmery vanilla shade. With a slight gold tinge to it. Alright, so now for the center of the lids, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish. These things are the bomb. They're so pretty. They're liquidy, like creamy liquidy, but when they dry, they dry to a matte finish, kind of like a powder, and they're just super pretty and just sparkly and vibrant. I love them so much. But this is what the color looks like. I'm using the color Velvet. So they come with these little applicator sticks, they're like these silicone applicator sticks, and you use this to apply it to your lids, and it definitely works the best. I have tried applying this with a brush, and it doesn't work out that great. So use the stick, it works. All right, so I decided that I want to deepen up the outer corner and inner corner a little bit more. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow in Hot Chocolate. 
looks like that. And I'm going to be applying that with a Sigma E30 pencil brush to the outer and inner corners. Alright, so now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in Starlight. It gives such a gorgeous inner corner highlight. I love it. It's freaking bomb. So I'm going to be using a Coastal Sense domed shadow brush to apply that to my inner corners. All right, moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going back in with Bitten by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to apply that tightly along my lower lash line, um, mostly on the outer third of the lower lash line, but then slightly blending it inward. All right, so now for eyeliner, I'm going in with the Galactic Beauty Precise Eyeliner Marker. This one right here. This one's actually really good. I've tried a couple eyeliner markers in the past and I didn't really like them, but this one I really like. It's super black and it's super easy to use. Okay, so moving on to mascara, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Big Look Mascara with Argan Oil. This is my fave. And for lashes, I'm going in with the Coco Lashes in Soho. Look like that, if you guys can see them. I already used them a couple times, so they're just dangling in there, but that's what we're gonna use today. These are what they look like, if you're curious. All right, and now for a gorgeous Valentine's Day glow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. So pretty, it's a really gorgeous golden glow. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna give you guys two lip options. We're gonna do more of like a lighter pink and then we'll go more into the vampier lip. I was gonna do a nude, but I was like, Eh, it's Valentine's Day. Let's rock some pink and some berries. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC lip pencil in SOAR first to line the lips. And then I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in blush. Looks like this. Super pretty pink, but I love it. I think it'll look good with this look. All right, so this is lip option number one. Okay, so now we're gonna go into lip option number two. I'm just gonna use the same lipstick that I did in the photo that I posted on Instagram. So first I'm gonna go in with MAC Sora Lip Pencil again, and then we're going to go in with the Pure Cosmetics Lip Blur Hydrating Lip Lacquer in the color Mystic. These are so good, they're so hydrating and pigmented. Oh, I love them. <laughs> This is lip option number two. And lastly, I'm just gonna set everything with the Victoria's Secret Make It Last Prime and Set Makeup Spray. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family here. Feel free to leave me any comments on video requests that you guys have. I would love to know what you wanna see. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. I love you and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. My daughter's just staring at me like I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I know, your mommy's weird. Sorry. Oh, I'm so- oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Why was it so difficult for me to say that? Why? Why? But girl, that's right.